Hey, welcome back to Stark Reality Garage. Hey, I'm back in the garage and I've got the uh, FJR behind me. Uh, it's a 2005, uh, which is brand spanking new. It's got 500 miles on it. So um, one of the big things is that I am still too tall for this thing. Um, there is uh, still a challenge with the windscreen. The windscreen is just a little bit too low for me. So, uh, so I've decided to get a new one and uh, swap this one out. And uh, so I'll, I'll show you how amazingly easy it is so well i got to tell you i'm loving this fjr it is a joy to ride especially now that i got uh, i've lowered the pegs a little bit and uh, raised the handlebars so i got a handlebar bar extension there and now for the windscreen so i just took it off i didn't realize how amazingly easy it is to take this off essentially there's uh what is this uh three six seven uh little uh plastic screws that's kind of surprised that they're just plastic um that uh, screw the windshield straight in. So the windshield has this little uh, little uh, bracket on the outside, it pinches right between this and the windshield, and uh, in it goes. So I'll uh, put the new one on and uh, we'll see what kind of a difference we get. So I've decided to go with the V-Stream. Um, that's the model number right there. Um, so you went with the V-Stream, well, you know, it's certainly got amazing reviews and uh, it's got the, uh, you know, more, what do you call it, uh, tougher, tougher uh, plastic, or it's not really plastic, it's polycarbonate, I guess, so it's a little stronger. So it should be a little larger. We'll, we'll do a quick measure and see how they compare. All right, so I've got the two of them here. It really shows up on the camera pretty well. So the new ones in the, or the old ones in the front, and uh, the new ones in the back. And I think probably the big difference certainly is in the width. Um, you've got a great deal more width on it and it's a lot more square up the top, much squarer at top. Um, and uh, so the, the stock one is 17 and the new one is 20 and a half. So from uh, top to bottom. So that should make a big difference. My big problem was the wind flow at, when I moved the screen up was hitting me right smack in the face. So very buffeting, very tough. At the low, when I had it down low, it was nice. It hit me mid chest, um, which was pretty good. But so we'll try out this new one and uh, hopefully you can get into the pocket. Right, it seems like this is a little cover that's starting with this one dead center. Dang, I can't believe I just dropped that. Starting with the one in the middle be the easiest <laughs> without dropping it get this started. It would be tough to say something is easier than this. This is pretty straightforward. This is straightforward enough to where you could change screens regularly if you really wanted to. <coughs> real tight when I uh, took them apart. I was kind of surprised, but since they're plastic, it makes a little more sense. All right, pretty straightforward. A little caution sticker, and uh, we'll uh, have to try this out. So the next thing that I'm gonna tackle on the bike it, to help me with my leg room and to make it a little more comfortable the longer you're on, and I already have the extended pegs here. Um, which I'm so glad I found. It makes a big, big, big difference. Um, but your legs are right up underneath you. Um, so you're always in, uh, you know, I don't know, semi-crouched kind of position, which is very comfortable. But occasionally you gotta move around. So um, there is a guy who makes an adapter to put in some highway pegs. So I've got a set of those. Um, just finally got them. And uh, <clears throat> Gerard Techworks. And uh, I think he is finishing up doing this, but I um, was able to get a set from him. And uh, we've got the little brackets and some uh, pegs and bolts to put them on. And essentially, this mounts right here on these hooks right there, like so. And then you have the peg down there and you can you know, then tuck the peg in up here. So uh, you have a much farther reach out to the front for your, for your feet. So. We'll see how this goes. It's an easy just swap the bolts in and out and pop it in. So we'll try it out and see how it goes. Five millimeter. Oh, I just popped. <clears throat> All right, so I got the three out. You put these on 
Uh, it seems like the only tricky part is that one side has longer bolts than the other. These go through, then there's a little spacer. These are all power coated. Basically match the casings. They look pretty dang close, so it'll look pretty natural. Let's just do those two. So I got these, these pegs came, uh, he, he had these available, so uh, figured I'd do those. up out of the way like that and tighten this bolt up to give it some so it'll tighten up there I don't think you would touch with that you might touch with this down but um, well you're certainly not going to touch with it tucked up out of the way so we'll uh, tighten this up a little bit and uh, we'll see how this works how it fits get some spacers All right, so I've got them all mounted. I think I, you know, he sent me a little level so that you can kind of try and get these the same. But this is at not quite 45 degrees. Um, so the level was a little tough, but um, I think I got them pretty even. Once you tighten these up, you get this pretty stiff so that it'll stay up out of your way. Um, so it's on there pretty tight. So, and I think, uh... all right, so moment of truth. Let's see if we can. It's on the center stand, normal leg position, pretty tight. That's what you can do with your foot. Boy, that really lets you sit up straight with your legs out like that. I don't know that I would want to ride like that all the time. It's a little closer to um, Riding a, um, a cruiser, kind of a you're, you're squared off a little bit more rather than up underneath your butt. Took up out of the way pretty well. Pretty good. They look pretty uh, stock. Got up out of the way, so we'll see. How So I just got back from a ride and um, on the windshield, a um, couple things. I'd say um, at the low setting, the lowest setting, it, the air hits you right about here. Um, it's actually quieter um, than the old original fairing all the way up, which I thought was kind of interesting. Now, when you put the fairing all the way up, boy, you are really in the pocket and uh, you can feel the back pressure. Um, very quiet. Never thought I could listen to a radio on... Uh, before but with this all the way up you certainly could the only challenge is that then the edge of the uh, top edge of the screen is in your field of view just a little bit kind of the bottom part of your field of view at least at my height but i can actually lower it down about an inch drops right out of the field of view and uh, the, the airflow is not bad um, i can see where you'd want to swap this out maybe in the summer to get more airflow on you definitely could see that all right with uh, the pegs Definitely um, easy enough to do while you're riding. To flip them out, now I can't flip them out. Um, but it flipped out pretty easy. Um, I'd say the biggest plus is that um, it does, uh, it just changes your butt angle. So it's a lot more comfort, you know, you get some comfort. The other big thing is it puts your leg out in the airflow, outside the fairing. Much cooler, today it's pretty warm and humid. Much cooler than when you're tucked in here and as we all know, there's a lot of heat that comes off the engine right here. So you put your leg right up and out of that. Um, 
Certainly allows you to sit up a little bit more straight, even with my handlebar extension. So definitely something that you would need um, if you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the saddle. So um, uh, I, I like them so far. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna use them all the time, uh, but um, I did wanna get them while, it, while the getting was good. So uh, I'm glad that I got them. Uh, and they may spend most of their time tucked up out of the way uh, on the short jaunts and that kind of a thing, but um, you really almost don't even notice them. And, uh, but boy, if it's hot, if you've been on for a long time and it gets hot right here, putting your leg out in the nice cool air was really, really nice. Now, the one other thing I've done on the bike um, that um, I can't even talk about being enough is uh, I put the cushions on top of the grips. Um, regular grips they're just too they're too narrow for my hands maybe it's because i'm tall and i have large hands or extra large hands um but having the foam grips gives you a little more girth to hang on to much more comfortable um and uh certainly does away with any vibrations in that you know i i guess technically it's because i'm big because i that i have big hands but these are gods and i don't whatever they were not even 10 bucks i don't think um when they wear out I'll just pull them off slap another pair on um but i really really like those so um, between the handlebar extensions and then to bring them back, the larger screen, the peg drops, the riding pegs, all these things are making a huge difference to make the bike more comfortable for me. I'm six foot four and uh, makes a big difference. So um, hopefully these are helpful and uh, hopefully keep riding. Join the riding season.